Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy. I am so excited to share this unbelievable animal with you. It's one of our newest little critters here at the zoo. Oh my gosh, so new it doesn't even have a name. This is our three-banded armadillo. And first of all, while it's curled up, we'll talk about that in just a minute. But you can tell he's three-banded because look, one, two, three. Three bands on his back. There's also a nine-banded armadillo. There's a couple different species of armadillo, but the nine-banded is the one that you can find right here in the United States. They're more of a green color, a little bit bigger in size. But let's talk about him curled up right now because you guys can probably imagine what he's doing. Oh, he's doing that to protect himself, but he's obviously not too scared, so he's waking up. So let's put him down real quick and see if he walks because look at that thing. How is that even an animal? Is that even real? Unbelievable. First of all, look at all that armor on him. Obviously, that's what protects him. If he's upset or something's trying to attack him, he can roll up into a ball and that'll keep him nice and safe. There's only a few predators big enough and strong enough to bite through that shell. Something maybe like a jaguar or a leopard or something like that. So these guys are found in Brazil, which is obviously down in South America. So something to keep in mind. A couple things I want you to notice as she's walking though. First of all, look at those little nails right there. Can you see these nails? Let me see if I can pick her up and show. Look at how big those nails are. Now what they use those for, it almost looks like she's walking on high heels. She'll use that to actually tear into termite mounds. That's one of their main sources of food are bugs and insects. And so termite mounds, those claws allow them to actually dig into those mounds and get those termites. They can actually smell those, those insects down through the soil, which is pretty amazing. The other thing I want you to notice is all these little hairs coming out of her body. It's so cute. And that's how you can tell it's a mammal. A lot of people question, is this really even a mammal? Well, sure it is. Of course, they're warm-blooded like us, but they do have hair on their body as well. And we believe that those are sensory hairs. They can actually use those almost like whiskers on a cat to sense, of course, different feelings and burrows and what have you. Now, it's not believed that they burrow very often, maybe to, again to find bugs, but most of their protection comes in the form of them, of course, being a ball. Now, the last thing I want to talk about about these armadillos is that the nine-banded armadillo, the one that we have here in, in the United States, very unique because they are one of the only animals besides humans that can carry leprosy. And leprosy is this really weird disease that used to be really, really, uh, well, not popular, but it was a lot of people had it a long time ago. And believe it or not, the, the, uh, the armadillo can carry it as well. Not this particular species, but the nine-banded. So if you're ever out and about down in Texas or Florida, you see an armadillo, probably not the best to touch it, especially if it's dead because you can get leprosy, believe it or not, from armadillos. It's crazy to think about. But nonetheless, we are so excited to debut this young lady. You may actually, well, lady or man, we're still trying to figure that out. But we're very excited to have you come and see her because she is just an absolute beauty and just a cool animal to see in person. So guys, until next time, I am Jeff the Nature Guy with our unnamed armadillo. See you real soon.